Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be reacting to Evolution of Freddy Krueger by Talad Animated. So, let's react to this. Freddy Krueger defined with 80 slashers. But with so many films under his belt, he was bound to go through some changes. From creepy to comedic to creepy again, let's go through his progression. In A Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy's wearing a red and green striped sweater, brown pants, boots, a fashionable fedora, and his signature bladed glove. To avenge his own death, he attacks the teenagers of Elm Street in their dreams, and is defeated by being ignored. Oh, he's in the sequel, Freddy's Revenge, ignored? his nose is hooked, and his burn marks, which appear more embellished, extend further down his body. Green stripes are added to the sleeves of his sweatshirt, and his pants darken. His eyes are more demonic looking, and his blades are physically attached to his hand. Two traits that would not carry over to the other sequels. This time, Freddy takes control of a young boy's body, and pops out and crashes a pool party. But when Freddy gets smooched by the young boy's girlfriend, he turns to ash. In The Dream Warriors, Freddy's look is consistent with the previous film, but he's shown shirtless for the first time, revealing a chest of screaming souls. He gets beat up by dysfunctional kids in the dream world, and is finally defeated when his human remains get laid to rest. The Dream Master resurrects Freddy with the power of dog pee. He's the same what? Freddy, but his glove is slightly updated in color. Freddy neutralizes the kids from the last film, and this time he bursts when shown his own reflection. Freddy is rebirthed in the Dream Child and grows quickly into an older, saggier version of himself with larger burn marks. He trains a young apprentice in the Dream World, who unfortunately turns on him, and Freddy is absorbed by his mother. Freddy's mm. dead, the final nightmare, takes us through Freddy's upbringing as a child then teenager, and finally as a middle-aged serial killer. He's burned to death, but manages to gain dream demon powers. Physically, Freddy retains the larger burn marks, but isn't quite as saggy. He faces off against his daughter, who blows him up once and for all. Wes Craven's new nightmare establishes the previous Freddy as a made-up movie character, and introduces a taller, pale-eyed Freddy demon. This one wears a green hat, trench coat, leather pants, tall boots, a striped turtleneck, and an organic bladed hand. He attacks the star from the first film, but gets cooked in an oven. In Freddy vs. Jason, we're taken back to the original timeline and shown another version of human Freddy pre-burn. This Freddy's burn marks are darker, his teeth are sharper, his oh, pants are lighter, and the he's blades like a on his glove man. are larger. He raises Jason Voorhees oh, Jason to do his Voorhees. bidding, but gets jealous of his kill count and faces off against him instead. The franchise would be rehashed or <laughs> oh, rebooted. Whoops, I mean, rebooted in 2010 with a shorter and more realistically burned Freddy Krueger. While creepier looking, mm. fails to live up to the Freddy we all oh, love. Rebooted watching, Freddy liking, was, and subscribing. was squished and check by the new original to Freddy. And vote on future animation. <laughs> Comment down below what you'd like to see animated in the future.